G'day everyone, my name is Mortal Phoenix and welcome back to the long awaited return of Crash Bandicoot 3. I am tired. I've done this three times, this is the third time I've actually done this intro now because the first time I did this, I actually got all the way to the end of it and I was going to post it all, but um, my voice wasn't recording for some, for some weird reason and the whole system just crashed. No pun intended there, but the whole system just crashed on itself, so I couldn't do that. The second time I got it, the game bugged out and I couldn't recover it. But hopefully, as they always say, third time's the charm. So, where we last left off, we were about to face Engine, and this is where we're going to face off now. It's almost like you tripped over something. Oh well, I ain't going to judge. Oh, you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who's obsolete! So, I've, I've beaten this boss twice. Now, I know how to defeat him, it's actually quite easy. It's, as, it's not as hard as you think. And I know some of you might be thinking, well, where do you shoot? And why are you in space? Okay. Um, now I don't know why you're in space, but the way to get him is you got to shoot the glowy goose and you kill him that way. Now the first, I, I will admit, the first time I played this, like the very, very first time I played this, I had no idea where to go. So I was forever stuck in this same area because I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to shoot. And I didn't know you had to shoot the glowies. Because each each boss has its own... Uh, what would you call it? Uh, each boss has its own like weakness shown spot, so to speak. Like with Tiny Tiger, he would have to recover. Um, with Dingo Dial, he didn't know what his thing... His flamethrower got jammed, so you had an opportunity to attack him. Oh, I think he... I think... No, the protective, or the protection around him depleted, so it gave you an opportunity to attack. Because he, you made him shoot that away with his flamethrower. Now it's not over. So he's got this thing. And a coward. Now, something it's worth noting. If you have a lot of health, you could quite easily, if you have a lot of health, like if you have more than 50% health coming into the second round, you can quite easily defeat this douche. And he is a bit of a douche. He's quite a spastic douche. Because he doesn't stay still. It's almost like he has no idea how to control his flight, how to control his fighter. But you can defeat him. And those those purple orbs, you could quite easily take on as many of those as necessary. Because they don't deplete all that much health. I think they only deplete six percent health. So you're quite safe there. Now, something else that is worth noting, and I will show you once I get this done, so I'll be right back once I've actually defeated this pretentious douchebag. Ah, yeah. So, uh, I'll be back when I, when I beat him. BRB! Yes, I did it! Okay. I, I, you can see, I have 4% health, I was so close from death. And we now we have the Fruit Bazooka! And use L2, which on the keyboard that I'm using is 1. Like I said, this is emulated, so I have to just keep in mind about the keyboard controls. It's funny how history repeats itself. 
Yet again, oh, yeah. Engine has failed to defeat you. For oh, this, we must destroy you! Oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? Eh. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, like I said before, Engine was one of those bosses that you didn't know what to sh like. You didn't know what to what to do at, at first, but it was kind of obvious. It just stares you in the face. Okay, so something I want to show you guys, and I know a lot of you would have pointed this out already, but this warp pad here. If I jump on it. This leads you directly under the warp room. And this is kind of like a secret bonus area, whatever you want to call it. I hope I'm not talking too quietly or else or else that won't be good to put up. But anyway, I'm gonna put this up anyway no matter what. So if I talk too quietly, just hit me up on it. And I'll try to fix that in the next episode. But anyway. <clears throat> so this little secret warp room here. Now this is quite interesting because it's showing you like the AIs being made and going into their warp room. Now, you can't see my face game, so you have no idea where I'm playing, but these five platforms, these are actually bonuses. Some of them have actually completed. Uh, and so these will help you get uh, bonus gems, get relics, and the relics are the little blue unks that you see. And you can get gold relics, which they don't. That's if you get the best, best time. So there's a time limit that you can get. Uh, what was, yeah, so the time. Okay, so in the time, if I go to this one, the time trial for this is 52 seconds. That's to get the golden pump. That's if you want to get even better. Some of them is just so like, why bother. But anyway, so some you get colored gems for it, which unlocks the multicolored gem in Bug Light. I'm pretty sure I, I read this somewhere. But this is actually quite interesting and quite disturbing if you think about it. So the way to get under here, the way to unlock this area is to get five hunks. You get five of those, you unlock underneath. And then you are free to do whatever the hell you want. If you get 25, which is uh, one unk from each of the main levels, some of them are actually quite difficult to get an unk in, but it is, well, it is possible. You actually unlock the 30th level. Now the boss level, I'm going to show you something. The boss levels aren't actually, before we start the future, the boss levels aren't actually standard levels. So if we go to the first warp room, and I know it took a long way around, but fuck it. Tiny Tiger, it's just a boss, there's no number for him. It's just a boss. If it was a number, then you'd have up to... You'd have up to 30 levels in the main area, and then you'd have up to 35 in this little secret area there. But anyway, enough said, let's move on, let us continue. We gotta do what we gotta do. So, hopefully, we don't fuck up. I'm tired. I have done this so many times, and I've come so close, so many times, but... Jesus, why didn't you die? Thank you. No, I am just tired. I've done this three times now. Like, the game bugged out at one point, and I couldn't fix it. I could not recover it for the life of me. I tried everything, and it just wouldn't work. So hopefully, I can get the last few episodes done today. Oh, Jesus. Ah, you suck a dong. Well, at least he shows off his ass, so that gives me a reason to shoot it. Oh, you move alright. Okay, I guess I should have been cut off this light so much. Why are you lagging? Good God. 
It's been a while since I actually have to think of this, and that's probably why. Don't hit me. Oh, shit. Why does he show off his asshole? It just gives me a reason to shoot it. Don't, don't take that out of context. Ah, uh, gotta get closer. Eh? Yeah, that's precarious. Ah, shit. Fuck. Um. Okay, well, um, fuck. Gimme, give gimme give a minute. Just gimme a minute. Okay, well, I tried. But you see my recording bar in the top. Fuck! This always happens, I accidentally press the wrong key and then this shit happens. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, why do you move? Just stay still. I accidentally hit the escape key, which is the way to recover the game if it bugs it out. So you saw, probably saw a flash on my desktop, but if not, then don't worry about it. Oh, would you just die already? Stupid thing. So now the quality is low. Ah. Oh well, it wouldn't be the first time it's happened. Okay, can I hit the box now? Thank you! I would like to do that ages ago. So, there's a lot of backtracking involved with this game. The same. There's a lot of backtracking involved. Like, some areas require certain gem... gems or, uh... You know, just, they require something. But this game does have a lot of backtracking involved with it. And that, that's good because in some in some other games there is no backtracking at all. It's all just if you miss it, you miss it. Too freaking bad. So this one actually gives you the opportunity to try and catch it back. There's another one up there. I know there is. Ah. Oh well. It's happened, it's done. Moving on. <sighs> you can see my recording bar. Ain't that just great? I am trying my very best to try and get a face cam. It's just, I haven't got any money. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. I, I had breakfast a little while ago. But, um... I don't have a job and I'm not preaching you guys to help me. At all, okay? I know that. I'm not trying to be that kind of a douche, but I'm just saying I'm doing my absolute utmost. Oh. I'm guessing this activated when I hit the exclamation block. But oh well. Oh shit. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I am trying my absolute darndest to get a face cam. Ah! What the fuck? I bounced on your head. Fuck you. Because... Holy shit! There's something I want to point out. I think the, the sound is a little bit behind. Oh Jesus, don't touch me. You're deadly. I think the sound is a little bit behind. Oh well, it is emulated so there are going to be problems. Like, that's... That's not to say that, like, you know every game that's emulated has a problem. It's not to say that at all, but, like, that's the truth. Like, some emulated... Some emulators work like a gem. Others... Not so much. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, bye. Yeah, oh, that's right. Circles to crouch. Ooh. Do we do the bonus? Fuck it. Let's do the bonus. There it is. So this one kind of involves you having to use your bazooka. Ah, nitroglycerin. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, I don't 
trust myself because I know I'm probably going to jump too far. I, yeah, I just... Yeah, yeah. Ah, shh. Thank you. Ah, stop hitting the waffle fruit. Thank you. Oh, well, that's fun. Oh, I'd hate to jump on that. Now, the nitroglycerin boxes are ones that if you touch it, it's sudden explosion, unlike the TNT boxes, which have a ton. And I, th and I think the first time people played this game, they didn't know what the nitro boxes did. So they just thought, oh, it's probably going to act the same as like, the TNT boxes or something. But, uh, yeah, 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 people found out it wasn't the hard way. So, there's a little bit of trivia for you. Not that I'm an expert on trivia. And everything's out of alignment now. I jumped on your head, bitch. Yeah. Okay, can I, I, can, I can shoot my bazooka at them, and I think they just hit the crawler. What the? Whoa, okay. That was weird. Okay, so these wire frames. These ones in particular. That wasn't meant to happen. I wasn't meant to. Oh, fuck it. What a death deception is a game right now. No, no such thing as death. Yeah, so once, it, once it's done that, it's basically no way to travel. Okay. That was weird. What the fuck was that, though? And like a little pop up window to come through. Okay, you can invert them. And now they're used as bounties. Alright, so those these wireframes, if they're coloured, that actually means that they need a specific gem to get through. And you may be thinking, well, how the hell do I know this? And I pointed this out in one episode previously, but I thought it was if you get to a certain point and you don't die, that is when they turn, that's when they become active. But, if they're colored, it means they need a specific gem, and there's one in a pyramid level, where there's actually an alternate path, but you need the purple gem to get across, and you also need this to get through, so if you were to double jump, you would glide across. Alright, and boink! Oh no! This is such bullshit. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, okay, I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go for that. Seventy out of eighty-seven. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but if it's a white wireframe, it means it's a skull path, and it's also commonly referred to as a death path. Now that will help you get the alternate. The, the, the alternative ending, and also gives you a coloured gem, 9 times out of 10. But if you see a double white gem, it means that the coloured gem needed will get you that other gem. One of, one gem would be to, if you break all the boxes, another would be if you get the alternative bars and finish that. Orange, I thought, how long have I been recording? Yeah, screw it, I'll just do this one. Oh, okay. Oh boy. I did well. So, like I said, I don't know what I was saying before, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to be hit up for that in the comments. People are going to be like, what did you say before? I didn't catch that. I don't know either. Yeah, like, I, I, I have OCD with some of these racing levels that I have to get all the boxes and then I go for the victory, but I'm not going to waste your time with that. I'm just going to try and aim for the victory. Ah, shit! Oh, fuck. Don't you even think about it, Buster. And no, I'm not referring to the character Mrs. Brown's boy. Yeet! Coming! No! Shit! Ah, fuck you! Uh, don't hit me. Ah. Okay, I'll be right back when I actually...
complete this. I, I'm gonna let you well, you can watch this one just to get to so you know what the track is like. Uh, 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 hey, hello! I bounced off the top of your head. Uh, don't, 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 don't get off the track. Oh fuck! Cover up the hole, my like I don't know. I don't know where I'm to. Ah! I bumped into the side of the ram. Ah, oh, you fucker! Even more. <laughs> oh, this one scares me. And I, th I know what Area 51 is. It, you're racing a bunch of UFOs. Just so you like spoilers, but I thought I'd mention that now. Uh, came third. And I missed three boxes. Oh well. Ah, oh, goddamn it! I'm not focused. I'm really not focused. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, stop lagging. It's fucking awesome. Oh. Owie. Alright, we're off. Alright, we got this. We got this. Alright, let's try not to fuck up. So, I'm not gonna get all the boxes. I'm just gonna race. Because, quite frankly, getting all the boxes is a death trap. Kinda, so to speak, but. Don't get. Turn, turn, turn. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you do it in me! Don't you. What the fuck? Okay, straight path. Use the speedy boost. Coming through, assholes! Alright, I'm gonna shut up now and just focus. Because if I don't shut up, I'm gonna focus. Oh boy. Alright, final stretch now. Am I gonna win? I think I'm gonna win. Oh shit! You knocked me off course, you fucker! No! You son of a- You asshole! That son of a bitch knocked me off course! Oh, you dick! Oh, you s- Oh, that is pure dick tree. I had it. I had it, and that son of a bitch was just like, Nope. Bang. Oh, man. That sucks. I was doing so well. Didn't screw up once. Okay. BRB when I win. Locked on target. Locked on target. I missed my target. Oh, well. I'm not going to miss this target. I did it! Yes! The first place guy wasn't such a douche this time. I think it was sixth place guy. But I did it! And with that being said, I'm going to end the episode here. And just a side note, I'm just thinking out loud, I think these racing levels, like these ones here, actually inspired CTR, Crash Team Racing, and then that and then Crash Tag Team Racing, and then all the other Crash Racing games. But, anyway, so, I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, cheers everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating down below. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot games to come in the future, and other awesome games to come your way very, very soon. So, cheers everyone for watching, and until next time, I'll see all of you in the next one. Later! I know why the it looks like more like pixelated than they did. I know why I don't point that out. Yeah. Oh, we have no heads. <laughs> okay, we are Canadians then. <laughs> oh shit, what happened? What'd you do? I don't know, I just down. Oh, okay. Oh, what happened? Okay, oh. Shit. Fuck, <laughs> okay. We're okay now. Yeah, there we go.